Zimbabwean journalist Hippo Shion has been crowned the People Journalist for Africa 2020. Organizers say he was selected uh, for his investigative reporting on the COVID-19 procurement corruption in Zimbabwe. They add that this report stopped this corrupt activity and forced the sack of the country's health minister. Hopo Chinano, documentary filmmaker and international journalist, joins us now. Very good evening to you, Hopo, and congratulations. Thank you very much for having me on the program, and thank you very much for your kind remarks. So, just how do you feel about the nod? And I know that uh, as journalists, awards have some ambivalence attached to them depending on the process and uh, how you eventually do get it. What are your thoughts about it? How do you feel about it? Uh, I think it's a validation of the work done by journalists, uh, not only in Zimbabwe, but on the continent. We are up against corrupt governments, regimes that do not care about whether people live or die. For instance, in Zimbabwe, the scandal that I covered and the revelations that I exposed uh, were about a 60 million US dollar COVID fund that was being looted by people in Emerson Munangago's government. And um, this resulted in a lot of deaths, uh, a lot of people dying unnecessarily because our doctors and nurses do not have PPE. And we, in the past 30 days or so, we've lost over six doctors. And uh, at one point, I think a week and a half ago, uh, in the western town of Chinoy, 66 health workers tested positive to COVID. And most of these infections are caused by lack of PPE. And it's, it's, a, it's a direct consequence of that looting. Mm. So... This award, it's a recognition of the importance of journalists in trying to hold the powerful to account for their corrupt actions. And Herpel, I want to talk about that, the power of journalists and journalism, especially in a, a country, in a world where there is a great deal of suspicion against them. Just looking at the other candidates and the work that they have done, how did you feel about your chances? Ah, well, I never thought about an award in that sense. Um, and, and, and when I was exposing these things and when other journalists were doing the same thing, I don't think we were looking at winning an award. It was just, uh, it came by chance. It's um, a good thing for journalism and I'm happy uh, for mm. winning it. This is the second time I've been an African Journalist of the Year. I mean, the first time was in 2008 when I was the CNN African Journalist of the Year. So it's, it's important for us as journalists, but when we're doing our work, we're not really looking for awards, but when they come along, yes, we really um, feel uh, that our work is being validated. Mm. And it also helps the societies where we're coming from to understand that the work that we do is important because Ultimately, this work is meant to protect the citizens of Zimbabwe. It was meant to protect the doctors and nurses of Zimbabwe, who today, to this very day, they don't have uh, sufficient PPEs. Mm. And, and, and hopefully, I'm, I, I'm glad you mentioned the fact that it's not about the accolades. I mean, you've been recognized uh, from other very important institutions as well, including the uh, Desmond Tutu Leadership Award, the Kaiser Family Foundation Award. But... Uh, I'd imagine that nothing can really make up for what you have endured and even uh, what you probably fear you will still endure. You've, the last conversation we've spoken, uh, you said the specter of uh, uh, being arrested again and being tortured again still stalks you. That's very true. Um, I mean, nothing can really cover for the time that I've lost. In the past six months, I've been arrested three times and spent 81 days in pre-trial detention. Um, and that is unacceptable in a de democracy. The government actually went against the constitution of the country. The third arrest, I was arrested for something that I actually didn't even do. And I was uh, jailed for 21 day 20 days. And um, I was charged under a law that does not exist. So but how journalists, especially one that works in a, a dictatorship like uh, what we have in Zimbabwe, you know that at some point they are going to be upset with uh, 
exposing them for who they are and exposing them for what they are doing. And at some point you end up being thrown in prison is, is mm -hmm. happened to me. But what is so important for me uh, about this award is that it is coming from Africa. It's not one of those awards that we've been persecuted for being called uh, Western pawns because we've won awards from Western institutions like CNN. This award came from Nigeria and uh, it's very important when African countries and African media institutions start recognizing the work that mm. is being done by African journalists on the African continent to protect Africans. Quick a final question, a very important point that you make. Um, first of all, that you do that against the backdrop of knowing that whatever you say and reveal will upset the powers that may be. What do you think the impact of that is on journalists, up-and-coming journalists who watch you and others go through this? We've seen that uh, attacks against journalists on the continent are growing and the brutality is also uh, growing. I think the idea for the state of throwing uh, senior journalists who have got name recognition like myself is to instill the fear of God into young journalists uh, by saying that if we can arrest someone who's internationally recognized like Hopewell Shimono, what about yourselves? But it's important because what we are doing is not just about uh, uncovering corruption. It's not about ourselves. It is about saving lives. For instance, in Zimbabwe, the biggest hospital has got only two maternity uh, theaters. They are both not working. They were built in 1977. And this is a direct consequence of money being squandered by the ZANU-PF regime. And if All we right. don't report about these things, our people will continue dying. Thank you so much for your time and thank you for your service. Zimbabwean journalist, Hopo Chinono Crown, the People Journalist for Africa 2020.